You're a director of your own company. You've had some um, business expenses which you've paid for personally. Here's how you can process them in zero um, so they can be added to your director's loan account. So what I'm going to do now is give a quick demonstration. Today we're just going to go for an easy um, and cheap and straightforward way of capturing your expenses and then processing them in zero. So what I've got here is um, just a really simple um, Google Sheets um, table which I've collated director's expenses in. So you could use something similar like this just for every time you have a um, business transaction which you pay for personally, you can add them to this and then when you come to then do your accounts, you can make sure your accountant has these in, um, includes them as um, director's expenses which are then added to your director's loan account. Um, so firstly, yeah, just to explain what a director's loan account is, I've got a basically a separate video that goes into this in detail, um, which I'll link in the notes of this video. But essentially, if you have um, business expenses which you pay for personally, i.e. not through your business account, um, then you're able to um, add these to your director's loan account, meaning the company then owes you that money back. Um, it's, it's a way of capture, ensuring these um, transactions are captured and show that you're not out of pocket. Okay, so you basically you can have a table very similar to this. It's just got um, you know a number of columns, serial, the date of the transaction, what type of expense it is, uh, the amount, uh, and just some remarks, just so you can go back and refer to any notes. Just to point out a couple um, that are kind of really good ones to claim and to make sure you capture as a director um, of your own company. So mileage is a good one. So basically the first 10,000 miles um, of business mileage, you're able to claim 45 pence per mile. So this can add up significantly over the periods um, uh, throughout your um, time of you operating your business. And so it's often overlooked. So make sure you, you're capturing the um, amount of mileage that you do for business purposes. Other one is use of your home as an office. So as a business owner, Realistically, you're going to be using, you're going to be working from home at times to run your business. There's a number of different ways to capture this and to track it. The most straightforward is to use the HMRC's flat rate scheme, which enables you to claim up to £312 per year for use of your home as an office without the requirement to keep receipts. So as a, as a bare minimum, this is something you should look to capture um, as an expense. Other things are... Quite often you'll go, especially for a property company, you'll have to send um, signed paperwork off to solicitors um, and you'll, you'll usually, sometimes you'll forget to have your business card with you and you'll use your own personal bank account. So make sure you capture the receipts and you uh, ensure that you're reimbursed for these expenses. Another one is subsistence. So you're out on a, say for example, doing some property reviewings um, and you, um, you're able to, to you, you, you essentially use um, your bank personal bank card to pay for some food but it was out on a business trip and so therefore you're able to claim that back because it's a reasonable business expense these are just a few examples of personal expenses which um, you may have paid for as a um, director using your personal account and this is so this is then how you could capture them uh, using a similar table okay so we've got a number of different uh, expenses here what i'll do now is i'm going to show you in zero how you would capture them Okay, so on the, um, the demo company uh, dashboard, your company uh, dashboard will look something like this. What we're going to do then is we're going to click on accounting, manual and journals. Now, depending on what permissions you have on your Xero account, uh, you may or may not be able to add manual journals. So you, if, if you don't have requisite access, then you'll have to just request these from your accountant. But you should have access to manual journals. What we're going to do is click new journal. What we're going to do using this technique is we're just going to essentially manually extract the details from our table into this. So what I'll do is then I'll just put a narration so we can refer uh, back to what this is. I'm going to put the date. Because these have got different dates, you're going to have to do a new journal for each transaction. Um, enables then it copies down the description. We're able to add uh, more information if, if needed. What we need to do is use the correct accounting code. Um, so depending on what your chart of accounts is, um, in, in my case, I'm used travel and motor for travel expenses. So travel and motor is going to be the first account we use. And the second account we're going to use is the director's loan account. 
Um, you might have a different name for it, but in this case, I use direct to learn account and have a little plus next to it so I know it's the right one. And what we're going to do then is we're going to add um, details of the amount under debit. Okay, so just referring back to our table, see mileage was £45. What's going to happen is because it's an expense, uh, this comes as a, this is basically a debit, so it goes into the debit section. And with all journals, basically the amount in the debits needs to add up um, to the amount in credits, and so basically there should be a, a corresponding amount in the credit column. Um, and so because we've got an expense for travel and motor, we then need to have a credit. In this case, it's credited to the director's loan account, so it's an expense um, for travel and motor, but then it's also a the company then owes the director that money back so we're going to put 45 pounds in here and that now has balances up to 45 pounds and so we're able to post that transaction so what we'll do now is we'll click post uh, we could also just going back to the table you'll see i put a bit more description in here so it might be worth we can just copy that uh, from the remarks and put it into the description just to give us a bit more information when we refer back to it I'm going to click post and what we do now is we click into posted we'll see that director business expense now has gone in as a posted transaction so what we'll do now is we'll add the next one in so click new journal and this time we'll go for use of home as office uh, just keep referring back to the date so it was the 31st of august 25 has obviously happened in the future um and as before Click down the description, it'll automatically fill and we can add further detail if required. So let's go back to this. We we'll use, we'll, we'll take this from the remarks, copy it in. That's going to mean if we refer back to it in the future, we know what this transaction was and why we came to the amount. So we've got, as we before, we've got two different accounts to do because this is an expense. Uh, the expense will be a debit and then there'll be a, a corresponding credit for the same amount, which will go to the director's loan account. So the account for this, um, I use premises cost for this. You might, be, you might use rent for yours, as in rent you pay, uh, the company pays rather than receives. Um, that's what I use for my chart accounts for property companies. So premises cost and the director's loan account. And so what we've got there is we just need to put the amounts in now. So we said 312 pounds. £312 as a debit, and then £312 as a corresponding credit. And now I'm going to click post. And now let's just add, we'll just add one more. So we'll go with postage now. So, so 15th of September 25. From personal account. Um, we probably don't need to add any further description. Can't remember two different accounts. Um, so we said it's £10, this was for, oh, and it's going to go into office admin costs for the expense, and then as before, director's loan account, um, meaning that the um, essentially the company owes the director that money back. Uh, so we said it's £10, £10, that adds up, and we can click post. So what we've got now is those first three transactions on the table now have been included as um, uh, manual journals. And we see if we go to posted, uh, we've got the three ones we just added in there. And so what we'll do now is we'll just check that's worked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, accounting, firstly profit and loss, and input the details of the correct date range. Um, so mine, obviously, we're in the future just to show you for the purposes of how it would work. Um, I'm going to click update. And what we can see there is those three transactions, the first three transactions, they have now gone into the profit and loss. As, so we've got free expenses for the office admin cost, which is the postage fee, premises costs for the um, HMRC flat ream use of home as office, and travel and motor for the mileage is £45. So yeah, happy days, they're all gone in expenses, but the next thing we need to check is we're going to go into um, accounting and then balance sheet. Um, okay, we're going to click a date. Um, we would normally just click today's date, but because I've put them in the future, we'll just put a date after all the transactions have happened. 
And what we will see is director's loan account plus there. And we click into that. We'll see those three transactions that have manually now been put into zero. Um, and there basically, uh, that means that the company owes a director a total of £367. Um, and so now we've checked the profit and loss to make sure the expenses have gone in. We've, we've checked the balance sheet to show that the director's loan account has been correctly charged. And that is essentially it. We just need to make sure we keep our receipts. Um, but this is just a demonstration of a really simple, uh, straightforward way that you can include your um, business expenses, which you pay for personally as a director, and include them into zero. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe for further content.